Today is Monday, 16th of August, and we are interviewing Francois Denise. And the uh, interviewer will be Nora, one of two traveling aunties. And we are in Francois' camping car. Hi, Francois. How are you this morning? Good. Hi, Nora. <laughs> How are you this morning also? You have a beautiful camping car. Okay, so we know uh, Francois from when we were in Takad, uh, Morocco, when we were locked down for three and a half months. And she was our neighbor and she fed us um, cake, freshly made cake every day for three and a half months. All right, so uh, again, what is your name? Francoise Denise. Where are you from? France. <laughs> but I live in Germany. Okay, and how old are you? 68 years in a few months, in November. Wow, very young. Very young. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you been driving a camping car? I began to drive a camping car in the year 2012. Wow, because how I many years? About uh, 2012, about nine, ten, almost 10, ten years. years. 10 years already, yeah. Nice, okay, yeah. so so for for us uh, who don't know, camping car is also named uh, as a motorhome. Uh, some people call it a caravan or RV in the US. RV in the US, mm -hmm. but uh, now we refer to it as camping car because it's more widely known as camping car. So uh, for twelve years, and you drive alone. Yes. Yeah, and it's not many, not many people that we know uh, drive alone, especially women, right? For 10 years ago, uh, we are not many women mm. who drive alone. Mm. But now when you look, you have many, many women who drive alone. Mm. Which is very good progress. So what is it like driving a camping car by yourself? What is it? Why? Why? Why, Why and, and how is it like? How does it feel it, like? I, I, I like it. I love it because oh. it's uh, like to be free. Mm. You can do what you want, uh, mm. when you want. Where mm. you want. Mm. But do you feel uh, like you're alone driving? Do you feel uh, uh, that you're in danger? That, that no. difficulty? No time. No time. Because <laughs> when, when I drive alone, uh, I, I can do what I want. And, and, and it's not a danger. Because mm. uh, another other reason is uh, I believe in God. Mm. And I said, he looked for me. Mm. So you I'm not thanks you. you. Yes, yeah. you look after me. Well, what about many many women think that the camping car is huge? It's, it's, this one is more than 7 meters long. We yes. drove one that is 6.3 meters long and it's big like a bus. So they're not used to driving such a big vehicle. So how is it like driving a big bus? Uh, at the beginning, you are a little anxious. I mm. was anxious mm. also, but uh, at the beginning, I don't drive. Uh, the first time, I drive to a park parking mm -hmm. place, mm -hmm. and I I try, mm. I try it mm. how I can uh, made it mm. and how I can made it. For me, it was very difficult to drive backwards. Drivers, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very very difficult. Because at this time I have no cam camera for yeah. for drive the back, back camera. The yes. back camera was yeah. not here, was mm. not on the camping yeah. car, and it was very difficult because right. I I don't know how far I am from yes. from the wall or from the yes. trees and all. But um, after one month, mm. I think I drive maybe three or four thousand kilometer, wow. and and then I have no problem more. Right, right. So it's practice, practice. Yes, the practice, practice is uh, what mm. you need at the right. beginning. So it's like driving a car. You know, you first you practice, reverse. It's exactly the so, same. Right. So, but do you ever feel in danger because you're alone, a woman, and you park? Where Where do you usually park? Oh, I park near near the cemetery. Ah. Yes, because the people don't disturb you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's a good point. Yes. Or I, I park in the industry, industrial area. Yes, because it's the same. The people work maybe to seven or eight at night, mm -hmm. and they come in the morning at mm -hmm. seven or eight at mm -hmm. night, and yeah. nobody come in the yeah. industry. Yeah. Park place. Yeah. Have Have you ever have? 
people coming up to you, knocking or try to rob you because no. because they they see that you're alone. No, 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 because they don't know where I am in in alone in this. Yeah. Or yeah. sometime I go in the wood in the in the in the woods in the forest. Right, right. That's the nicest actually when you yes, park and in the yes. morning. I the I remember as I was in Portugal mm. for many years ago. I go uh, with a camping car mm. in a mandarin plantage. Ah, uh, orange plantation. Yes. Uh, mandarin, orange. And in the mm. morning when I go out of my car, mm. I take one. Mm. <laughs> it <was> delicious. <laughs> okay, so how many countries have you been to with your camping car? With one camping car? Yeah. Okay, I've been in Germany, mm -hmm. France, uh -huh. Switzerland, uh -huh. Austria, uh -huh. Italy, uh -huh. Portugal, Spain, uh -huh. Morocco. Uh -huh. It was uh, eight countries. Yes, um, as I went to Morocco, all my girlfriends say to me, "You are crazy to mm. go alone to Morocco because they kill you and yeah. they ki ki kidnap you." Yes, yes. Uh, but the first time I go to Morocco, I was alone driving mm. in my car. But from from Germany down to Morocco. G yes, we go we go first Germany, France, mm -hmm. then Portugal, then Spain yes. because we we take the ship in uh, Algeciras, the, yes. the ferry in Algeciras, mm -hmm. and then Morocco. But I was not uh, I was not really alone. I was mm. alone in my car, mm. but we was three camping car right, together. Right, right. Two other men. Yeah. Each each camp. No, one man is alone. Driving, driver and uh -huh. one man with his wife right right uh, so there's but a group the mm. next time i i drive all the time right alone and that's no problem no no problem mm. uh as i was in spain i have problem with my, the motor of mm. my car mm. and the spain people come mm. to me and ask can we help you yeah that's the other concern about women uh drivers their concern what if the vehicle break down they don't even know how to change tires and everything so is that a concern a concern? A worry? A worry? Is that a worry for you? No. If okay. anything break down, you don't know how to... Break no, it because, because I, I, I... No, I have no problem with this because uh, I can speak mm. two or three languages. Yeah. And so I meet all the time everyone, uh, yeah, somebody people, yeah. who helped me. Yes. I, I remember I was in Spain and... Uh, the um, steering wheel yes yeah what like this now yeah it's locked and, okay and, and it's locked yeah and i don't know how can i do it and it unlocked yeah so i ask people uh, do you know where where i can find a uh, garage yeah a mechanic yes. yeah and the people say to me no problem i drive you to the garage uh -huh. So mm. I am in the garage and mm. I ask the, the man, can you help me? Mm. I don't know why mm. my car can't, can't drive. Yeah. So he come back with me with the, with the car mm. and he look, he put the key inside, yeah. turn, turn it. And that's and it. <laughs> it's also all. Yeah. I say, oh, thank you very much. How many you get from me? No, it's okay. No yes, problem. Yes. So, so the thing that we are afraid that nobody will help, but then with the community, they're so, they're so willing to help. Like every any little thing, also they they are very willing to help. Yes. One time in Morocco, the wheel in the mountain, and the wheel, uh, I go on the stone, uh -huh. and it's like a knife. Oh, it cut into your it wheel. Cut my wheel. Ah. You have a and tire. we was two camping yeah. car and the yeah. other one take me back yeah. and we go to a little town yeah. in Morocco and a young man mm. we saw oh he had will so we stop on it and yeah. we said him we tell him oh hmm, we have a problem we because we are in the mountain yeah. and, and the wheel is broken no problem he come with us with his motorbike, motorbike. yes and two two people and uh. a little motorbike and they look Oh yes, it's very difficult because uh, they must they must put stone under yeah. the car yeah. to grow it up. Then yeah, we to can took the and the wheels. it go away mm. and it come back and you repair. Yeah. Don't, you re, don't repair the wheel cells, but he repairs. Um, yeah, I don't the, know. The, the, ah, it was also a little broken, uh -huh. and you don't see again it was broken. So he repair it very repair. good. A new wheels. Mm. Until we can go right. away. And it was very cheap. Yeah.
So when you're in Morocco, you didn't get kidnapped. No, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get robbed. I, no. I, no, I think when they saw me, uh. <laughs> when they, they saw me, and I speak with them, they saw, oh, it's a crazy woman. We got away. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, only one time, mm. I was uh, buying um, meat. I want to go back to my to my camping yeah. car. And it was a young man, yeah. he saw a uh, mini bag yeah. full, uh -huh. and he think, uh, I have many money. Uh. And so he go behind me, right. and I stopped, uh -huh. and I asked him, do you want something from me? Yeah. I want money. I said, uh. I have no money for you. Uh. You are young, you can work. Uh. So I go, yeah. I walk, and he walk, uh -huh. and he walk, and he walk. He follow you. And then... After three time, I said to him, "I have no money for you." Mm. I would, I was very loud. Mm. I said, "I have no money for you. Mm. Go away. Let me." Mm. A man with a woman yeah. is coming outside from this home, uh -huh. and the man speak to the young man. Uh -huh. I don't know what they speak yeah. with him because it is a, a rubbish. Yeah. Yes, but it was very loud, mm. and the young man ran away. Uh, and I said to the man, thank you very much, you yes. helped me. And he said, no, it's normal, I help you because you are our guest. Yes. Uh, and it's a bad boy. Mm. Please, sorry, excuse me, excuse our country for this boy. Oh, uh, yes. That's, that's Morocco for you. Yes. Okay, so what advice uh, would you give to women who want to, who are thinking of, of, of driving on their own? Don't be anxious. Mm, don't be anxious. Yes. Believe in yourself. Uh, don't be kanchong for no reason. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And, and and drive and enjoy you. Yes. Because it's very beautiful to mm. drive alone. Huh? Right. Uh, you can sleep so long you want. You can eat when you <laughs> want. You can do what you want. Uh. And, 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 and you meet. Now you meet many, many mm. other women who mm. drive alone and men also who drive alone. Mm. And, and they're enjoying it's not yourself. a problem and you mm. enjoy you. Okay. Uh, so what do you do when you feel lonely? When you're alone? Yes. What do you do when you feel lonely? I look if I can meet other people. Mm. Or I look TV. Mm. Oh, I get. I go in my bed and sleep a little <laughs> because I yeah. have to sleep. <laughs> and, and games. Yes, and I play games also. Right. I phone to my friend. Yes. Yes. Uh, or I write to my friend. Or yeah. um, sometime um, for three, four years ago, mm. I have a good friend. Mm. She drive also alone, mm. and she was in Portugal or in Spain. Mm. And when sometimes I think, oh, I am alone, I want to meet someone, I phone to her, where mm. are you now? Mm. Oh, I am here. Okay, do you stay on this place? Yes or no. Okay, then we can meet us right. on this place. Right. So there's always opportunity to meet up with people, whether yes. strangers that you can become friends and friends that you connect with and you can always keep up with family back home, calling them or through Facebook. Yes, yeah. I I I met somebody for eight or nine years ago, and they live in France mm. or in Portugal, mm. and we write all the time. All the time mm. with Facebook, we phone together. Mm. Uh, they come to me to Germany. Mm. I go to them to France yeah. or Portugal, yeah. and it's a really friend. Yeah, that's that's one thing about friendship on the road. You you some be friends forever yes right oh last words for women out there again uh, who wants to drive camping car any advice you want to give ah. mm. um don't buy a new one don't <laughs> buy a new camping car right because it's too expensive and right. buy um, buy um Older, not too old, but yeah. between five and ten years old right. is very good. Right. Uh -huh. And um, look for you, for yourself. Mm, look out for yourself. Look out for yourself and um, enjoy the journey. Enjoy, enjoy you yourself about yourself mm. and uh, be careful when you drive mm -hmm. because. Uh, uh, when you drive in Morocco, for example, uh -huh. 
They don't know what is it a red light or they don't know what <laughs> is it a stop. Yes, they um, just go. When you drive in Paris, you must drive and don't stop <laughs> because when you stop, you don't drive again. <laughs> um, be enjoy. Uh, I so said be enjoy. So just enjoy yourself in a camping car. There's so much of life to enjoy and not be afraid. Yes, right. not be afraid. All right, thank you, Francois. Welcome. Thank you Welcome. for sharing your experience. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. All right, just have a quick look around. Uh, Francois' uh, current camping car is a Fiat uh, Fol Florent. Florette. 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 It's a French layout. Um, yes. Very luxurious. Mm. It's 7.5 meters long, I think. Mm -hmm. And that's the pilot seat. The pilot you can seat. swivel around, yeah, and likewise the passenger seat. Yeah, so you have the dining table, which you can also open. Oh, and and actually, we have a guest seat. here, Maya, uh, right. Francois's friend, visiting. And then there's another seat here, so you can see actually one, two, three, four, five people at least. And the table open up, double yeah. up. And this is the kitchen area sorry about the mess uh, we're just clearing up and cleaning this is the sink and that's the stove three stove burner and there's an oven and there's a microwave and there's a fridge full-size fridge freezer fridge and shower area and toilet i see if we have electricity yes and then there's a cupboard area where you can put lots of stuff there oh a tree bar and lock so things don't drop out it's a toilet and there's a bed it's a huge bed and ventilation on top cupboards all around cloak room and actually surprise there's ac as well another ventilation and that's the alcove where you pull down you can actually uh sleep two more people up there okay Alphonsoise car there's the um Garage area, ventilation, toilet. This is a huge garage inside. And there's the back, you can actually tow another um, caravan or bicycle rack behind. There's the ladder that go upstairs. There's a solar power on top too. And there you are. Florem Winchester. That's a window, bedroom window. Dining room, window, mirror. So it's huge. I can see from across how big the car is. Right? 360 view again. Mosquito net all around as well. There's shades that you can pull up as well. There's a little bit anxious. So. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Put your comments below. Click like and please subscribe and ask your friends to subscribe. Help us reach 1,000 subscribers, please. Thank you. Bye. Yes, because it was a camping car with a big one. Yeah, the, uh, the overhead. The balcony. Yeah. And, 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 yeah.